Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for our first Airbrush Asylum RAW video. The idea of these videos is much the same as the live streams, but a lot of you may or may not know that when we do a live stream, this country it's pretty bad with the internet at the moment and it's going to be a while before they get it gets any better. So we thought we'll do a kind of a live type of uh, video, which is still informative. We're going to show a bit of airbrushing in these videos and um, we're going to film them on, on virtually the same as we do with the live ones except we're going to pre-film them so the quality is better and then um, try not to edit them at all, keep the mistakes in there and just upload them as they are. So these will be identified um, similar to the live ones which are identified with the red record little circle um, like it looks like the record light Instead, we're going to use a black uh, circle to identify these and they'll be marked as raw on our channel. All right, so for today's video, this is the first one, so welcome. Um, we're going to do lots more of these. We are still going to do the live ones, even though the internet isn't the best, as I mentioned. Doesn't matter, we're still going to do them, but we're just going to do more of the artwork ones in the raw format, just so that you can really grasp the detail and see what's going on. It's a bit hard if the quality lacks with the live ones all right so i hope that all makes sense everything else stays the same so we're just adding more content so this will be just another new thing that we're adding um, so today we've got a piece that we've been working on and we're just going to show you a little snippet of how to make a particular skull's head look a bit better so it's already been airbrushed um, it's just a little bit dark could do with a bit more detail and sprucing up so why don't we just go over and um, give it a shot and we're going to paint that in right now all right so just let me just put the camera on the tripod so excuse this like i mentioned i don't want to really edit so i'm just going to slip this on make sure that you can see what's going on okay just going to move that over a bit so we want to work on this guy here okay so you can see the skull, it's not too bad, um, but in my eyes it's lacking a bit of detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with white, okay, a pre-mixed white. And I'm going to start to come in and I want to just add a base just to lift basically what is there. And then we're going to work back into it with further detail. So I thought I'll show you this because I'm sure there's plenty of you that have um, painted skulls in the past and um, may or may not have been 100% happy with something and think, oh, I could put a bit more detail into that when you come check it out the next day or um, if you've just, you know, tend to walk away from it and come back to it and you think, ah, it just needs a little bit more. Well, this is a perfect way to spruce it up. All right, so you can see also, I'm not worried too much about being super duper sharp. I'm going to come in and I'm going to um, fix that up as we go. But I'm virtually just creating a base. You can also see that in these sockets here, they're just flat black. So I'm going to start to add in a bit of the white. And we're going to knock that back in a minute just to create more depth. I'm also not a big fan of the that sort of upside down heart shaped nose. So I'm going to reshape that a little bit. So essentially I'm just redrawing with the white and tweaking it and fixing up areas that I'm not 100% happy with. I also think these areas are a bit too fat and flat looking so I'm going to lift up the that cheek bone Just in this area. I'm going to lift up that lower jaw. The beauty of it is this artwork's just black and white, so I'm just using, as you can see, white paint now, but um, it's already been reduced. It's a Trident water based paint. Um, and I'm just using that and then I'm going to mix up a 
a black with a transparent base or these they're already pre-mixed for this particular little quick tutorial but um once I've done the uh, the black mixed with the transparent base then I'm going to come back in with some highlights if needed and then finish it off with the black a thinned out black so I don't want to spend too long on it I just want to show you how to quickly lift it and how we can make it look better than what it was previously by essentially just working over the top of it so remember keep your trigger pressed down your air pressure on at all times you can see I'm not letting go of that trigger finger and um, I'm pressing down on the air keeping the button pressed at all times and then just pulling back and forth for paint so white is a bit thicker even though it's got a bit of reducer in it and as I mentioned earlier because I'm going to come back in over the top of it I'm not too concerned about how perfectly it's painting I just want to build up a bit of a base eliminate the areas and reshape the areas that I'm not really 100% happy with and then come back in and detail from there I'm not going to do too much more than that I'll focus on just this skull thing otherwise it, the video will get too long and we'll start painting the whole panel okay so we'll just leave it there I'll put some highlights here on the, the cloak Now we're going to switch to my 0.2 mil airbrush, which has the um, black mixed with transparent base and a bit of reducer in it. What I'm going to do now is start to really bring out the detail, sharpen it all. start to add textures in as well so because I put that white there I don't want to eliminate back over the whole lot I want to keep a bit of that it gives it just a bit more depth rather than as it looked earlier it was just a bit too flat run some cracks up there Start to add some detail in on the cloak as well. Now we're going to fix this nose area up. So again, just ignoring all the bits that I want to change. Meaning that I'm just sketching back over the top. So I'm creating new um, defined shadows. And essentially changing the shape of that nostril area. You can see how much wider it is. And we've lost that sort of real obvious upside down heart look, which didn't really look the best to me already starting to sort of detail a little bit with those shadows so you can see that it's not perfectly smooth which is fine we're not painting a portrait here it is a skull's head so or a skeleton's head and um, we want it to look a bit more like natural bone which wouldn't be a hundred percent perfect want it to look a bit aged and damaged and so don't be afraid to if it needs to be a bit uneven spray it uneven don't make everything too smooth because it can also make things look fake especially with something like a skeleton or a skull's head So we're starting to bring that out a bit. I'm 
I'm going to work on the teeth area, so just again carefully outlining them. And again, I'm kind of sketching with it. You can see how thin my paint is. It's it's almost um, spreading out a little bit, but I'm not too concerned because I still got to come in with that darker colour, um, the real thinned out black. shadow in between the teeth so you get that high spot again air on all the time use that double action airbrush so the airbrush I'm using here is just a Segola X-Tech 200 and the other airbrush I used earlier was the CMC Plus Micron. So this airbrush has, uh, the Segola has a 0.2mm needle in it. And the CMC Plus has a 0.23mm needle. And as you've noticed, a larger gravity cup. So I like this airbrush for just getting in some fine details. And then I'm, I'm going to finish off with the uh, uh, CMSB Micron. So the side feed that has a, a slightly finer needle again of a 0.18. Alright, so already a bit happier with the way that's that's looking. Again, I don't want to spend too much time, I want to just get this finished. So compressor kicking in. Press is pumped up again and as you can see I switched back to my CMC plus micron just to get some highlights in there so I'm up reasonably close to get some sharp highlights on that bone just varying it again just trying to add more texture to it so it's not as flat and then we'll finish off with that um, black So you can see how it's already changing from the original flatness that um, the way it looked earlier. So we've definitely got some more textures happening, a bit more 3D, just by working back over it. So I suppose, you know, when you're painting your pieces, don't discard them if you think, oh, that doesn't look that great. You've always got the option to work back over it, and that's kind of why I wanted to do this video, just to show you guys how to rejuvenate an existing artwork that, you know, may look great, but could just look a lot better. All right, I'm not going to work much more on that. I'll switch to the black so that you can see how to finish this off. I don't want these videos to be too long. We've got our other tutorials for that, our full length ones. So this, um, these raw videos will pretty much just showcase a uh, reasonably quick demonstration. Like I said earlier, similar. we want to keep them similar to the live streams. Um, but we want to just uh, show you snippets of artwork that we've got going. And that you can enjoy it with a bit better quality so you can see what's going on.
So just outlining those teeth again. It's the beauty of the skull. You um, teeth are really like that's what most students freak out about. You can also use a cotton bud and hold that up on there, or you know, I think in America they're called Q-tips to help you get that shape, that sort of half circle edge. That's the hardest bit to get. You can try that. I might even cover that in one of my videos. I might do a quick tips video on that. Again, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, um, we're all about showing you numerous ways to improve your airbrushing and we hope to inspire you to create more airbrush artwork so we'd love to have you join our community if you haven't already so feel free to hit subscribe that will keep you up to date with um, our live streams which generally we try and do weekly and um, we're going to start to do more and more of these uh, raw videos as well so just to share as much info about the way we paint as possible and hopefully that helps you guys out so I'm almost done with this be able to rewind the video or not rewind just <laughs> go back to the start and um, have a look at how this started So you can see how quickly we've transformed that and added more detail in. So I'm just going to dust over these these areas here. That gives the the skull, like those teeth areas, a bit of a curve. A bit more shading under here. I mean, you could literally spend another easy another half an hour to an hour on it, just really making it pop even more. But um, I think that gives you guys an idea of of how it's um, come up and how it's basically improved on the original. So Sorry. here we have the end result of what we were working on. Had to edit this in at the end because I accidentally turned the phone off when I went to pull it out of the uh, uh, the tripod that we had set up. So I just thought I'd show you the artwork so far. Not 100% finished but we're nearly done. A few more details in the feathers to go and just a few white highlights here and there and this will be all completed it's been painted on an aluminium composite panel using trident water based paints so I hope you enjoyed the first raw video and we look forward to seeing you for our next video soon thanks for joining us